What's up, everyone? Welcome to Lazarus. <laughs> Hello. In today's video, we are answering this question right here about how to make friends in Austria. Doris is going to be helping me uh, in this video because she's going to be talking from the Germany point of view. If you have not subscribed, make sure to do so. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. Make sure to also follow us on our Instagram handles. I will make sure to put the handles in the description box. I always forget, but this time I really will. Let's get right into it. To take you all back, we didn't know each other about a year ago. Stimmt. And we met in Germany. And our story would be, we made a video about it on my channel, but today we are making it on Lazasha's channel. And so we met here in Germany and this is one way of making friends here in Germany so and as to how we met we're also going to talk so we're also going to talk about that like that method as well the one that we used we're also going to talk about that yeah. in this video and how we made other friends exactly yeah. but if you, in case if you're interested in the detail exactly as to how we met like she said we made a video on her channel so make sure to head over to her channel and watch that video i will put the link to that video in my description box so make sure to also go and support and hit the subscribe button punch it okay. hit it number one so number one the very most important part about making friends is to pray and fast for the friends that you want to have the wonderful thing about praying and fasting for friends is that god will give you the people that he wants in your life because if you just go about it randomly that's when you find yourself having people in your friends where you're wondering how did i even come to meet these people you know because of the attitude that they have or just the character that they have you know and people that are not designed to be in your life it's basically a waste of time if i'm to put it in that way because they'll basically just be there to steal your time and your focus if i stew if you fast and pray god will personally give you the people that he knows that will help you to take you to the next level where he needs you to be people that will encourage you in that way and in that path and you will not be distracted so make sure amen <laughs> <laughs> especially if you're moving to a new country for example you're coming to europe or usa mm -hmm. it's a very delicate time so you really need good friends because bad friends can mislead you so bad Stimmt. so before you move to austria or after you've moved to austria and germany search the location like um for example, people living in Munich on Facebook and we like in these groups, you'll find people posting. I'm so and so from this country who is free on this day. Do you want to hang out? If you're free, you respond and then you go meet this person. If you get along, you keep on planning the meetings. If you don't get along, it ends in like that. Up. And yeah. for and for for the Austrian side of it, uh, there's actually a group that's called uh, English Speakers in Salzburg, mm -hmm. because I mean Austria is as a German speaking, <coughs> but in that group you're able to meet up people that speak English, and then it's a whole community going there. There's also a new in Salzburg as well Facebook group. Um, these are for the people that are trying to make and create friendship um, in Austria. So those are the two two groups that I'm really like 100% sure of um, in Salzburg. And I'm sure there must also be groups like that as well in for areas. yeah in Vienna as well because Vienna is like a really huge city. And um, you can also join this friendship app called Bumble. Probably you've oh. had Bumble the the, the dating, dating site. The dying time. So there's the Bumble dating site, but there's a part called BFF, not the looking for a boyfriend or girlfriend site, but the BFF side. Exactly. So you like when you're that. registering, like when you're registering yeah. to to create a profile, they'll it, ask you which side do you want. To what are you looking for? So yeah. what are you looking for? Mm -hmm. You can either say I'm looking for 
male a female or a yeah. bff bff is general Axel, they will okay, bring, okay. but mostly most mostly they are ladies so mm -hmm. if it's for the dating honey you better just go to date it. <laughs> but if it's just platonic friendships then please sign to bff oh and i just also remember that it's also quite important that when you are registering to also sort of minimize the area because it's for example if you're living in germany and you're in munich um i believe it will give you like 10 k's away the general setup the default setup would be like for all over in germany mm -hmm. but you can minimize that to come closer to the to, place that yeah. you are for example people in bavaria genau yeah genau or like just basically for salzburg or uh, yeah basically just minimize it to the area that you're in that way you can easily meet up with someone or communicate and transporting would not be such uh, a big of a time mm -hmm. so yeah the information we are sharing is something we know like from experience Personal for example experience, the bff the bumble one i've spoken to a couple of people and i also know a friend who has met other friends through uh, the bumble bff ah and the amazing part of it is that there's this um vienna group and within that vienna group that's on facebook they had a link to a, to a whatsapp group so once you get to whatsapp group you can like sort of like personalize the messages and i remember for some of the girls that were in there i had actually met them uh in vienna so that was like the next point on how to make friends is that you have to be active you have to be intentional about it in terms of going to places going to areas and the best place physically going to places, going to places you know and the best place is going for example going to churches like around you because once you get there again you're in this in the community with people that love god people that are going to build you up in your faith and the amazing thing that i love about churches here is that they have tea time or a coffee time that they have usually after church services so it's like you have the church service and then after that you get to communicate you get to speak with people yeah, after that get now get now get now make an effort to look up which churches are around you and then go there vice too and also when there are activities that are going on like a church like maybe they say oh on saturday we're going to have like a hiking group or we're meeting in this area it is helpful for you to actually take part in these activities remember the the the, the ah, what is it called the tea the yeah, well, there's there the barbecue, but then there's also the one that we went to for tea. Was it tea? But that one was on a Sunday before church, though. When we went for the tea at the couple's house. Um, I don't want to mention it. You Nine? It was ah, you. Ah, yeah, here. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. okay. But yeah, that, that was before. That was before. That was on a Sunday, but like before church and like yeah. it was just food. People because talking. church was 4 p.m. Yeah. So we had it like I think 11. Mm -hmm. And then we came straight we from church. their place to exactly. church. Yeah. So I think these activities that people do to try and, I don't know, communicate, to try and. And you also get to learn a lot. About like we found out a lot, a of, lot of stuff information. about German that we didn't know. And if there are none, maybe you could start one. Maybe you could be the leader and start on and invite two or three people to your place and be like, hey, do you guys want to come over for coffee or for tea? And then this is how you get to communicate. Yeah, or maybe then go out if you're not comfortable with them. people coming to your house. Yeah. And on that still, I have to add the school part mm -hmm. ah, where yes. um, if you want to do, for example, German language, it's better for you to go for a physical class ah, than yeah, an online know. class mm -hmm. because physically you get to meet people in mm -hmm. class even mm -hmm. practice your language mm -hmm. and yeah uh, widen your networking mm -hmm. and you never know you can find friends or just people to hang out with during this course and as you go there talk to people don't be like just Excellent. after class you're running home or during break time you just disappear and come back after the break is over yeah you no know, try and talk to your classmates it's always this different vibe when you're doing on when you're doing it in person versus to doing it online like yeah. the the 
the feeling is there yeah we, we are actually um physical she's online so. <laughs> Well, I was online. Yes, yeah, she for, was online. I, I, in my case, I had to be online. Yeah. Although, if, if it was up to me, I personally would have preferred to have it physically because, I mean, you get to interact with people more. Mm -hmm. But with online, once the class is done, it's like, it's done. It's done. The yeah. only time that I would get to interact is when the, when the teacher puts us in these little groups mm -hmm. online. We, she puts us into these two little tiny groups. That's when you quickly do what she says and then you're like, oh, so where you stay you know but then of course it's limited time before you know it, she's coming into your group and she say ah have you done gemacht was ich gesagt habe and then it's like well you know yeah. but yeah, yeah in my case i was traveling a lot yeah so i could not because of course if you're traveling a lot it's kind of a disadvantage because you then get to miss classes which won't be good so yeah, yeah. and also don't be don't feel sad if you don't make any connections in the a Dutch course it's normal very yeah it's very, normal very. don't feel bad and don't put pressure on yourself just take it easy take on time you. the last point for today is that this one if she has a friend I must meet that friend connecting <laughs> exactly friends of your friends that's the point we're trying to put across mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that it always has to be the same people that you know the same groups it is okay to spread out as long as you know what you want the type of circle your priorities in check especially if you're a christian it's a little bit difficult sometimes to get carried yeah. away to easily meet groups that are full of all types of attitudes who remain in christ and know where you stand however Friends of friends, yeah. friends of friends, your friend, meet their friends and meet their friends and meet their yeah. friends. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. When and they organize something mm -hmm. and your friend calls you, yeah, go. Mm -hmm. You never know. Even if your friend is not coming, it it won't feel the same, yes, but you yeah. want, you yeah. want to try and go. go. The point is putting yourself out there. Yeah, Get? but don't compromise yeah stay on your values on your principles if someone does not meet your standard then don't force it you don't have to have that friendship okay, no. yeah. yeah and at the right time god will give you the right people in your life exactly good now anyways we've come to the end of this video we hope you guys found it interesting uh and informative we hope it helps you guys out and yeah hopefully you guys can be able to make friends and if you guys know any other ways that you can make friends Austria or germany make sure to let us know down in the comment section uh, down below yeah and if you go if you follow this and you go and you make some friends please let us know and let your girls know yeah it's, 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 it's a lot of work out here yo yeah, yeah. it's a lot of work but anyways we will catch you in my next video kindly subscribe like share comment, comment and all the good stuff and we're gonna catch you on the next video good night